everybody, this is Praxis, and it probably doesn't look like I did that much since yesterday. Um, I don't know that I really have. I had kind of a busy day prior to this. I, I don't know if you guys are aware, I run this uh, YouTube channel that has like general emergency preparedness information on it, and I spent, I don't know, like four or five hours this morning uh, prepping the Lego Fallout Shelter video. If you haven't seen it, here's a link to it so you can check that out. It took a lot of time this morning, so um, yeah, I haven't been out here for most of the day. But I did get some work in. I got a few more stones in the wall here. This was a huge one. That was a, a really difficult to, to pull up from way over on the other side of the house because we got a ton of rain last night, and there was a lot of mud, and trying to drag the wheelbarrow up through the mud was really difficult. But anyway, I mean, even if you only get a little bit done today, it's more than getting nothing done at all. So, uh, you know, it's more dirt, more sticks, and I'm moving... Um, uh, grass chunks. Now someone mentioned on one of the videos recently, and they're absolutely correct, uh, video's best uh, attribute is that you can see things happening. And sometimes I'm a little guilty of uh, talking about what I've been doing and not showing it. And there's, an, there's a specific reason for that. The camera I'm recording this on, this 360 camera, it's been a little um, bitchy lately, and it's been turning off in the middle of takes. And, uh, you know, sometimes it'll take me like a bunch of takes because it, it won't go even the full five minutes that it's supposed to run at. So uh, sometimes I kind of like fast forward through things and just want to share what I've done. And, for, and I, you know, I kind of forget to actually show some of it. So let's try to show some of it today. Um, I, I want to demo the uh, procedure that I use for moving the grass. I just kind of took a chunk out here. Uh, it's about like six by six inches, maybe eight by eight inches or so. And I'm bringing it over to a place where it will kind of match in. Uh, it, it has like, it's a, they all come out with like different kind of curves, different kind of angles. So I'll find a place where it looks like it's going to fit and I slide it right off and then I just kind of, I punch it down to get the edges to match up to the, uh, the other ones. I don't punch the edge because that would have it all fall apart, but I punch like the back side and get it all married together like that. So that's what I've been doing. And, uh, these are some of the new ones I've done today. I'm going to take some of the hay we got over here and sprinkle the hay over on top. Overall, you know, it's moving, but uh, you know, it's, a, it's not as fast as I'd like it to be. I believe, I believe that this right here, this point here, is the corner of the, the root cellar there. I'm a little bit, uh, my angle's a little bit off. I think this is one corner, and, and the other corner that I need to get to is uh, probably somewhere around here. So, you know, there's not that much left to do, but it's still... It's still a lot to do, and I am starting to run a little low on dirt over there. I've got my eyes on another dirt pile. You know, I'm a prepper. I've always got a backup plan. There's another dirt pile that I can kind of uh, tap from, but it's going to be not as easy digging, and it's not as high-quality material. It's more of a sandy stuff. Better for shielding, uh, potentially, but, uh, you know, not as good for the plant growth. But things move, are continuing to move, and I think the next time where I actually have a full day, I think I'm going to be installing this uh, filter box here. And I know some of you guys, uh, specifically Die Bullfrog, you've had some comments about you know some of my approach to that, and I really appreciate everyone's feedback on that. Um, you know, I'm I'm not an expert on on everything, but I like to share just the fact that I jump into this stuff because I think sometimes we're capable of doing more than we. I think most people are capable of doing more than they think. No, I don't believe that. I think most people are, think that they're more capable than they are, but I don't know how to phrase that. I'm not sure how to phrase that. I think that there are many people out there who have more ability than they believe that they have, but there are probably more people who think that they have more ability than they actually do. That's, let's just leave it on that downer. That's it. Thanks for watching.